not that you need to be a mechanic to do this shit, but Steven's the guy. Steven, you get to have so much fun editing this later. I got this, I got this. Who are you nailing now? Nailing like someone's mailbox. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I need a green light, this is bad. This green is light bad. now. Hi, I'm so excited to be here doing this. I've replaced several doorknobs in my life. It's been a while, but looks like I get to do this one. So the bathroom doorknob decided to lock us in one day or something. I don't know. It got broken. I think there's a video on that. I can't get into my bathroom right now, guys. This door is jammed shut. The, the knob broke this morning and I tried opening it with a credit card. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, this thing is almost impenetrable. And then we bought a new doorknob that did not fit because RV doorknobs are different, apparently. Um, you see right here, I've just been using a towel to open and close this door for the last few days. I waited two days for this part. I could not get it anywhere, by the way. I can't just go to a store and buy one of these. I didn't know that I had to measure this. And this is too freaking big. So it's not going to sit in here right, which means it won't work. Which means i got to send it back and order another one. So it's all about seeing if this fits here. Now I might have to re replace that plate too. Let's see. It looks like this one will fit. So here's the doorknob we got from Amazon. It's the second one. We had to return the first one, as I said. This one though has a key. We don't need the key. And it's a knob lever on one side. Look at this lever though. It's like kind of crap. I'm gonna get this put in here. We would want the lever to be on the inside, right? Right? So, okay, this is awkward. And it looks like this will fit here. This piece, I don't know what pieces are called. I'm, I'm not the mechanic here. This looks like it's gonna fit. Check out this. Now we gotta get the other side on here, the lever side. It's extremely windy today. We keep like rocking. How does this, what do you have to like hammer this in here? This way? Doesn't seem like it goes this way. I need a photo. I actually need the photo because that sticks out weird, right? You wouldn't put it on that side. Yeah, wouldn't the latch always go in and not out? It'll go this way. That's how I see it anyway, right? Does that make sense? Well, the hard part apparently is opening the package of screws. We just need to get on the other side of this because anywhere I put the camera, it's not really going to get what I want to get. So whether or not we need to use the new uh, latch plate, I don't, I don't know what it's called. That's what we're calling it. I don't know if we need the new one or if the old one will be sufficient. Let's see. It's really not that complicated, guys. Can you see this? We don't have an electric screwdriver. This is whether or not this is gonna line up, I'm not sure. It seems to be going into something. It doesn't seem to be tight though. Okay, I'm getting the last screw tightened up here. So this, in the instructions, like I was saying, there's supposed to be a plate here. Well, in the instructions, it said there's a plate here and two of the screws go here. And then the other two that are identical go into the, the door frame here. So, does this work? It was working great. Oh. Nice and stiff. Let's, let's hey, see. Hey, did I do it? I did do it. It's a little stiff on the turn. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know anything about doorknobs. I've never done one like this before. I once did one on a very old door from the house we used to live in. It was, um, the house was built in 1953. So it had a basement door. Uh, it was like a far, it was like a storage room. And then I needed to put a lock on that door. When I went to replace the doorknob on that one, the like guts of it, I don't know. The inside of it looked really strange. I had to like bore a bigger hole to get the hole knob in there and it was a whole ordeal but i did it and i got a locking knob on that door and it worked great and i've done another i've done a couple others 
long stories there. Poor Stephen is outside fighting with a limo. But here, look. So here, look. When I turn it, it's pretty stiff. Is it supposed to be this stiff? If it's here, this is the old plate. Hey, want to help us out? Subscribe to our channel. It's totally free and it would really bring us joy. Then click the bell notification so you know when we have a new video up. Thanks. Why replace it if this one works, right? It fits right in there just fine. I actually can't get the lock to turn or work, but we've never used the lock anyway. We don't need it. The other door going into the bedroom doesn't even have a lock. It's a pocket door. Like, you can't lock it. It doesn't really matter. We don't need the lock doors here. But it is loosening up. It's starting to pop back out. It works. It latches closed. I'm going to call this done for now. It's way better than what we had. We had a hole here and like washcloth stuffed in there. Branch is once again time to dump tanks. This is the first time we've dumped since we stopped boondocking. Is it? Yeah, oh, this... yeah. Always have to check down the street to make sure there's no FedEx, Amazon, or UPS coming because there usually is. Or a bus. Luckily, all the mailboxes are on the far side of the street, so I don't have to worry about like nailing someone's box. That's my car. Who are you nailing now? Nailing someone's mailbox. Gloomy day. What, what's the temp today? It's probably 34 out. It's just a couple, a couple degrees above freezing. It's only 34 right now. Oh my god. At this Atlas staffing again? This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, I'm again. feeling. Bad, this is bad, this is bad. Green, go. When I stepped on it, it hit a heavy. We're going in here, yeah. The fan isn't kicked on. The kick on fan. Ooh, I don't. This is like this medium. This is little shit. I feel so much heat coming out of this. No leaks, but that fan clutch isn't kicking on. I'm gonna have to replace that fan clutch before we can leave. The gauge is so pegged right now, I'm so scared we just blew a head gasket and hurt the motor. Uh oh. You get it's okay, baby. maybe one or two of those with a big blow. Then I have to start it every couple of minutes to get more water out of there. I'm glad I looked down and caught it when I did because I'm going to drove all the way to the gas station. We're like distracted this. by some damn Mitsubishi. <laughs> That's so not good, dude. It's at 260 degrees, fan. You should be. I, I should be hearing that fan. 260? Yes. I got it down to 250, but we were sitting at that light, light and it was pegging itself. And the fan's just not kicking off. It's, it smells hot. Like, we're gonna have to go back home. Like, I can't get tires. I can't get anything until that's fixed. Like, that fan clutch has to work. Oh, no, I understand that now. And not just now, from last time. When we but were it was at least I could get it to kick on by having all my heaters on, it would protect it. heater cores so I have two I have three radiators going right now so I have the radiator for us I have the radiator in the back of the bed and I have the radiator up front all trying to cool take hot air out of this engine right now come on baby I'm down she's at that edge of the red metal Ed, we're probably not even going to get the dump today I'll have to just take us right back home if I can at least get the fans working so something I did with the air suspension blew a fuse somewhere and now my fans aren't working. I didn't know why that, that thing had went dead, and it's probably because I had blown a fuse. So hopefully I can find it, and it's not some stupid thing I gotta take the whole dash apart to do. It's a nightmare right now. Do I have radio?
Radiator's dead. Yeah, radiator's dead. So, hopefully it's just a fuse. Hopefully it's just a fuse. It's okay, baby. I know. Look at that look of concern. You're all right. We're fine. We're fine. Even if I don't have the right anchor, I can at least get hopefully the fuse to work. Let's see what we have. Okay, I'm looking for a 25 amp. So far, I found everything but of course. 30, which that's the closest so far. A 50 amp fuse? Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, I need one of those. Ooh. Tens. I have a lot of fuses in here because, you know, RV life. Um, if I don't have a 25, these are 30s, I'll put a 30 in there and I'll just put a 25 in at my earliest convenience and it looks like that's what I'm going to do. Okay. There's a 30. So I'm going to put this in and see if we got heaters. And if we got heaters, I can at least get the air to cool. I can, I can start cooling down. this dash this is hot we were hot pays to have extra fuses on your rvs guys i would have been walking to a gas station to fix this if i didn't have spare fuses could be worse places to be pulled over but this this does suck if this were to happen to anyone doesn't know what they're doing they'd be calling for help very lucky that steven knows fucking everything do you hear the heater in the back uh-uh i hear the fan the cooling fan though oh yeah that fan's on now by the by my bed so there's an electric fan that wasn't working that's working now. We have the heater on the back working on high now, right? It wasn't working before, but now it's working. So I'm hoping we're right at the limit of overheating now. So I'm, I'm hoping now with that fan and that one going that we can pull this temperature back down and continue on our way. The fan clutch is buried in the very front of the motor. And getting to it is going to be It's got a shield that comes from the radiator all the way to the base of the motor and all the suspension and everything is in the front so you can't just take that shield and drop it and have access to what you need so i'm gonna have to go up and over and like stretch because the the fan is like right here mm -hmm. it, underneath the dash right well this only comes off to right here so i'm gonna have to like figure out how to squeeze myself through a little hole get tools in there or I'm gonna have to figure out how to take apart the whole undercarriage which is gonna be an epic thing to have to do before we leave for my mom's in two weeks no an epic thing to have to do before we go get tires if I can get these fans to work we can go get tires the temperature's coming down now we're coming out of it we didn't drive all the way to the gas station overheating check the gauges don't just drive without looking down we were stuck at that light right there and I was having a, a, a panic attack because I needed that light to go green because our gauges were paid and we're just sitting there overheating. You can do that once if you catch it right away. If you just drive it overheating, you're going to just destroy the motor. And this thing's a low mileage, 60,000 mile motor. I, w I would have been in tears the night if I had done any kind of catastrophic damage. It's still running a little hot, but at least it's coming down. So this is the same lot we pulled over when you got that shock. Steven's car is acting. Uh, our fan up front isn't working, so I don't. I guess I'm gonna have to find the squirrel cage and see if I got 12 volts to it. If there's another fuse that blew, that's fine. As long as I have, I have the fan in back running, and I have one of the electric radiator fans going. So even if that fan clutch just completely dies, I can at least regulate temperature 
doing that. Yeah, we're almost down to where we can drive it. It's, it's island down. It's cool as well. And thank God I put that 160 degree thermostat in there too, because that at least kept us from overheating in the driveway. There's, there's a fan. Oh, the fan. There's that fan clutch. I don't know if you guys heard it. You hear there it, There it though. is. No, I hear it now. It's like, did it get too hot for the fan to kick on? That fan should have kicked on. I think the fan is fucking lazy. That fan is really bad. We're back under 210. I'm back at 195, which is this normal operating temperature range. Um, the clutch fan for the year is working now. Locals. Locals. In our way. Get in the road. Get anywhere else. Oh my god, I'm so... Yeah, he screwed up our whole turn in. parking spots. He screwed up our whole turn in. He could have come in and been anywhere in here. It's running much better. Um, it's running like nothing ever happened at all. Um, I guess I should have checked those fuses before we left. I, I had no idea that whatever was connected to the air pump was also connected to the fans for the vehicle. The clutch fan, which is the mechanical fan for this thing, is still super sus. And it needs to be replaced. But again, as long as I have those other two fans to sort of control it, like it's a it's going to be a big dirty job, and I don't want to do it this winter if I don't have to. So we'll see we'll see if I get to it before we leave. I'm glad I don't have to do it before Friday when we would have had to get tires. That would have sucked real bad. And now we got done dumping tanks just in time for some trash.